In this video, I'm going to walk you through the steps of surfacing out a SharePoint data source data in a Power Pages site. Now, we are going to make use of something called as a virtual table in Power Platform. So let's get started. As you see in my screen, I have a SharePoint list which will act as a data source for me. It's a simple list called as stones. It has two columns, title and a value. Now this list I have created ahead of time. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a database table, which is technically a now a virtual table. Okay. Now I'm in say random solution. Uh, I'll create my own solution. And then I say new table, table from external data. The moment I do that, it will ask me to load some connection. Now, if you see here, those two connections are already existing. Now, what you can do is like, if you don't have those connected uh, connections, you can click on new connection. It will take you to a new screen for connections. And as of now, uh, we only have two connections, SharePoint and a Microsoft SQL Server, out of which SQL Server is a premium connector. So you just need to click on plus and then a connection will get created. Now I've already created that connection. That's why it is visible for me over here. I just say refresh. And uh, in this video, I'm going to cover about SharePoint connection. In my next video, I'm going to cover something about SQL Server connection to a virtual table. Now let's go with SharePoint. I click on SharePoint and I click on next. Now it will load me the recent uh, SharePoint site. If it is not there, you can type in the URL over here or you just select the SharePoint team site. You click on it, click on next. Then it will ask me which list on that SharePoint site you want to use. Now I have two lists in the site. I will select Kiri Stones. Click on next. Then this is a configuration screen. Uh, in this configuration screen, it will try to map the corresponding Dataverse table, which is a virtual table to the SharePoint list. Now. As you see over here, it has already picked up some field values, which is like kind of mandatory in SharePoint. So like an ID, title, value, uh, compliance asset ID, color tag, modified, created. Now I will not make any, I'll not make any changes over here because I'm good with it. Uh, and I'll say, okay, this works out for me. I click on next. Now it will show you corresponding SharePoint external data source and a Dataverse table with the corresponding values. Now, number of columns is seven uh, because of all those mandatory columns required from a SharePoint data source perspective. I click on finish and my virtual table should get provisioned in next like couple of minutes. Okay. So it is now creating a virtual table. Uh, let it get uh, created in the back end. What I'll do in the meantime, I'm in a uh, Power Pages home site. I have this site called as Opal. Now here I have just opened the design studio. I will create a new page. Okay. Now, uh, now in this page, what I'm going to do is I'm going to load that list. Okay. Now let me call this as uh, say stones list. Okay. Uh, I'll start from blank. I'll just say add. Now I haven't added those table over here. So what I might do is I might go into data on the left hand side. Okay. And then try to add the newly created virtual table. Okay. I think the virtual table might have been created. Let me see. Yes. I think this table has already been created now uh, in the back end. Uh, it's still loading the data. So let it load. And if I see here, Giri Stones, it's a virtual table. Uh, now, I don't want all these columns. I just want Giri Stones, maybe ID, and maybe title. Okay. So I just want these three columns to be visible uh, at the moment. And it will show me all those values here. Now, yes, I'm in Power Pages. I search for that table. Now the table name is perfect with Giri, so it will have Giri stones. Click on here and I say, I want to use this table now, okay? Uh, I can again configure in 
power pages what all column i want i want title and maybe kitty stones and that's it i'll just save this okay now this is just an id uh, maybe i i will have something else uh, maybe let's see what that column name is it's called as title and id okay so if i put id i can get this id i save this and i get this column defined so let's assume this is uh, what i want or uh, maybe i'll just hide this column for a moment and this is what my table will look like uh, let me quickly create a view uh, so maybe i can create a new view and then call it as stone view and this view i can display in my power pages site So again, I can add a column uh, called as ID, save it, I, then I can publish the view. So what I have done is I have created a virtual table pointing to a SharePoint. And now those data was virtual table, I have added it in my Power Pages uh, site. And I'm now going to surface that out in one of the page. Okay, so now my view is ready, my VS table is ready. Uh, I'll go into this page. Uh, let me go into the page which we created, Stones List. And if I click on, say, List, and if I say click on New List, then it will ask me which table. So I'll type in my name, Kitty Stones. Let's see what the data view is. So maybe uh, Stone View. Uh, I click OK. Name your list. I just call it as SV. This is just your reference in Power Pages. Okay click on okay and I may need to set up some permissions okay so in this permissions uh, maybe I will just put uh, I'll give say for time being let's give all the permissions okay and in a role I will say oh it is open for all the anonymous users okay I just save this save it and my data will get surfaced out So I just sync the changes. And I preview it in my desktop. So as you see in the screen, uh, you will see what the list in SharePoint is populated in one of my Power Pages site. So technically, I can say I have connected a virtual table pointing to a SharePoint backend list, which is surfaced in a Power Pages site. So that's it, folks. Thanks for watching. I will uh, try to do the similar thing with SQL Server in my next video. Thank you.